Scripture, the finest frontier. These are the voyages of Skylab Omega, its five-month mission to spread the gospel across the galaxy, to share God's love with civilization, to boldly go where one Savior has gone before. Come with us now as we blast through the Bible with Commander Cosmos, Space Ranger. Ah. Howdy, y'all. How y'all doing? Lieutenant Dan here reporting for duty. It's good to be back aboard Skylab Omega. Did you all have a good Easter weekend with your families last week? Oh, that's good. It's good to enjoy Easter. Easter is a very important holiday. You know, uh, the Apostle Paul said that what happened that day was of the very first importance because it's the day that we remember that Jesus changed everything. I'll show you what I mean in the flight manual. <laughs> now let's see here. Now how can I put this? The Bible is a love story between God and us. Because in the beginning, God created a perfect world and created Adam and Eve, the very first two people. But Adam and Eve disobeyed God and brought sin and death into his world. But don't worry, I know that sounds very sad, but there is a happy ending. The Apostle Paul explains it in the virtual Bible. Let's do it with the bibbity boots. All right. For since death came through a man, the resurrection of the dead also comes through a man. For as in Adam all die, so in Christ all will be made alive. <laughs> now, in the beginning, there was no death for anyone at all. It was perfect. But then... Adam sinned, and Jesus died on the cross for our sins. But don't worry, that's not the end. Jesus was raised from the dead on the third day. Mary Magdalene saw the whole thing. It's, it's right in here. Three days after Jesus died on the cross, Mary went to the tomb where Jesus was buried. When she got there, she noticed that the stone block in the door was rolled away. She ran to tell Peter and John, and they came running back with her. Now, all they saw were the linen cloths his body had been wrapped in. Now, they went home, but... Mary stayed. Then she looked at the tomb and saw two angels, and they asked her why she was crying, because she looked so sad. Now, when she turned around, she saw Jesus. She didn't recognize him at first, but then he called her by name, and he knows all of you by name too. Now, she told his followers the good news that Jesus had been resurrected. That means he had been risen from the dead. Now, Jesus is alive forever and always. And one day, we will be like Jesus, and we will be with him. Now, that's going to happen to you and me one day, to all of us who believe in Jesus. He will raise us and give us life forever in him. But no one knows how. It's a mystery. Now, let me explain it in Paul's words. Listen. I tell you a mystery. We will not all sleep, but we will all be changed. In a flash, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet, for the trumpet will sound, the dead will be raised imperishable, and we will be changed. Now, Jesus died for us, and God raised him to life so we could have life forever close to him. Now, that's a happy ending. Now, now we can celebrate Easter every day. That's why they call us the Easter people, because we are the people who will be with Jesus forever. Now, that's my favorite phrase. Now, you guys can say it with me, kids. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Happy Easter, kids. I'll see you all next week.